I have almost 10 years experience working in cybersecurity as a pen tester, and I try to use this YouTube channel to share as much of my knowledge and experience with anyone that may be trying to learn about hacking or maybe trying to pursue a career in that field as well. And one of the most common questions I hear is how can I become a hacker? And fortunately, there are more resources and options to learn about this field now than there have been ever before. So in this video, I'm going to go over five ways to learn how to be a hacker. And make sure you stay to the end because there's a little bit of a twist on the last one that I think you're going to like. The first one that I wanted to mention is one I've talked about on this channel before, and that is Try Hack Me. If you're a complete beginner, maybe you're a student, or maybe you're working in some sort of IT job or something and trying to make a transition into a cybersecurity field, Try Hack Me is perfect. First of all, they have these learning paths that are specifically designed to teach you all the basics about any sort of topic or career path or anything that you may be interested in learning about. For example, this junior penetration tester learning path teaches you all the basics about cybersecurity and what it takes to become a junior penetration tester. And they actually have step-by-step -step instructions walking you through every step along the way trying to show you what to do and how to use different sort of tools and understand different concepts. And once you've picked up some of those skills from the learning paths, if you want to give yourself more of a challenge, you can swap over to the CTF challenge rooms and try to solve some of those without any of that hand-holding that you get in the learning paths. And TryHackMe does have a lot of free resources that you can use without needing any sort of subscription or anything like that. But they do have a lot of content that is only available if you have a subscription as well. If you are interested in getting a TryHackMe subscription, I will have a referral link down below where you can get a $5 credit when you sign up. But if you just want to give TryHackMe a try and see if you like it or not, there's plenty to keep you busy if you just want to stick to the free resources. The next one I want to talk about is another one that I've talked about on this channel before, and that is Hack the Box. What is probably the most popular feature of Hack the Box is this machine section where you can spin up an intentionally vulnerable machine and then, as the name suggests, you try to hack the box. And this includes trying to find a user flag and then elevating your privileges so you can find a root flag. But the section of Hack the Box that I think is kind of underrated is the challenges section. These are more bite-sized focused challenges instead of just being a server that you have to find vulnerabilities on. And I think this is a great way to learn a specific subsection of pen testing or hacking. For example, if you're interested in forensics, you can just look under the forensics category. Then you can select one of these challenges and then you get a very specific forensics challenge where you can try to test yourself and learn about that specific topic. I personally have been more focused on mobile pen testing in the last few years. So I think that the mobile section has been a very good resource to learn about different sort of things you need to know to do mobile pen testing. And again, just like Try Hack Me, there's tons of stuff you can do on Hack the Box for free, but all these challenges and machines and everything on Hack the Box are typically only going to be available for a limited time. And once they are retired, they are then no longer available for free users. And you will have to have a VIP subscription if you want to access them after they're retired. The next one is one that I've covered extensively on this channel, and that is the Port Swigger Web Security Academy. This one is specifically geared toward web security and using Burp Suite, but if you're also interested in things like mobile hacking or IoT or anything involving web traffic using an API or anything like that, the skills that you can learn from the Web Security Academy, as well as just knowing how to use Burp Suite, are going to be very valuable for anything like that that involves API testing. And if you're someone who has been interested in looking into different sort of certifications for your resume, they actually offer a Burp Suite Certified Practitioner certification that you can get through the Web Security Academy. And this certification is only $99, which is much cheaper than a lot of certifications that are out there. And I've personally worked for four different companies in my career as a penetration tester. And at every stop along the way in my career, Burp Suite has been one of the most important, most valuable tools in my toolkit at every stop. So having something on your resume that proves that you are good at using Burp Suite can go a long way in making your resume stand out. The next one is a bit more niche, but as I said, I'm a bit more focused on mobile security at this point in my career, and OWASP offers these Crack Me challenges with a set of Android applications as well as iOS applications, and these are reverse engineering challenges. These are great for practicing reverse engineering the binaries of mobile applications and trying to search through source code and figuring out how all those things work. These can be super helpful if you're someone who, like me, was more geared toward web application testing early in my career and then had to learn all these specific mobile things in order to make that transition from specifically web applications to mobile applications. And if you're interested, I already have a few videos on my channel where I solve some of these challenges. The next one and the last one which I mentioned had a bit of a twist, is Hacker 101. 
This is a learning series with a bunch of videos and guides and stuff that are made by HackerOne, which is a bug bounty program. And they have some pretty good beginner resources here. But the real interesting thing about it that I noticed was they have this CTF section. The CTF section actually has a bunch of different CTF challenges and there are 26 points available in total. And once you get all 26 of those points, you're actually eligible to receive invitations to private bug bounty programs. So as you're going through all these beginner resources and you're learning things along the way, you can solve these CTF challenges. And once you've solved all of them, you can very easily transition those skills that you learned while going through the CTFs and use that to sort of springboard and start your career as a bug bounty hunter and actually begin making money with those skills that you've learned. So there you have it. Those are five resources that you can use if you are a beginner or something trying to pursue a career in hacking or cybersecurity or pen testing or bug bounty hunting or anything like that. And it's honestly pretty crazy to me how many resources are available now. I feel like my career didn't even start that long ago and I don't think I had anywhere close to the resources available as there are now. And maybe one day I'll do a whole like story time uh, about how my career started and how I got to where I am today, but that'll have to be another day. Anyway, I hope this helps and I hope I'll see you in the next one.